Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I would like to talk about new member of NVIDIA Jetson family, Jetson Orin Nano Developer Kit. Here there are some parameters, but we're going to talk about them later. The box includes power supply. Here, for example, I have some other Jetsons, like Jetson Nano 2 GB. This is original Jetson Nano 4 GB version. This is Jetson Orin, AGX Orin developer kit. This is the most powerful Jetson which you can buy, but also the most expensive one. And this one is way more powerful than this one or this one, but less expensive than this one. So let's unbox it. Ta-da! And here's the power supply. I would like to clarify a small thing that the Jetson itself is actually this small board over here, which is installed on the bigger carrier board. And this carrier board, it has all the ports, all the useful ports. So basically the carrier board is just a sophisticated adapter for the Jetson. The carrier board plus Jetson plus heatsink is called developer kit. And here you can replace this Jetson or in Nano for the more powerful Jetson Orin NX. So there is a possibility for kind of upgrade, but this kind of strange upgrade because uh, you keep the cheap part and you replace the expensive part. But it's possible. This is for power supply, display port, four USB 3.2 Gen 2, gigabit Ethernet, USB-C for the debug and device mode, two CSI 22 pin camera connectors, connector for the optional buttons like reset and power off and place for the SD card. 40 pin GPIO connector and on the other side there are M.2 KeE PCIe connector which is populated with the Wi-Fi module and here there are two antennas. M.2 KeM four-lane PCIe Gen 3 and M.2 KeM two-lane PCIe Gen 3. And here there is the schematics with the, all the ports. So the power is provided by 19 volts power supply. So actually these camera ports are similar to the ports from the Raspberry Pi Zero. So this means that there are a lot of uh, ribbon cables which are compatible with this port and with the standard uh, Raspberry Pi compatible camera. Let's connect it to the keyboard, to the screen and to the power supply. Put the SD card. I already prepared the SD card over there and let's see how it runs. So let's switch it on for the first time. The LED lights up. The first boot is standard for the Ubuntu and I use default values everywhere. By default it runs the power mode at 15 watts. Another option is 7 watt. So here there is a less power and also less performance. Here is a max performance and max power. So here are the Jetson developer kits which are offered by NVIDIA. So at the lower level of this offering there is Jetson Nano developer kit, the original one. It has the previous uh, architecture of the GPU. At the high end there is Jetson AGX Orin, the super powerful, quite expensive but a really good device. And in intermediate position there is Jetson Orin Nano developer kit. And here you can see the performance on all of them. The great thing about them is that they use the same uh, software, Jetpack, and that's why you can start with the Jetson Nano, with the original one, and if you need the power, you can go to the more expensive versions. And here are the Jetson modules, so not the developer kits, but just modules. So these are the modules. And for the Jetson Orin, so with the latest architecture of the GPU, so there is Jetson Orin Nano, 8GB and 4GB version, on the developer kit it's 8 gigabyte version. There is Jetson Orin NX, more powerful one, and Jetson AGX Orin, the super powerful one. And so you can see that the cheapest one, they don't uh, require a lot of power, and the most powerful one require up to 60 watts, which is still quite lower for the robotics application, so it's uh, perfectly fine, this 60 watts. On this developer kit which we have, we can replace the original Jetson Orin Nano module, with this one Jetson Orin NX module. 
but in this case you would need to pay 400 more for the 8 gigabyte version and 600 more for the 16 gigabyte version but at the same time you have more than twice gain on the performance compared to the Jetson Orin Nano. And here there are the specs for this Jetson Orin Nano, the main specs. It uses the latest architecture of the GPU, 1024 CUDA cores, up to 80 times performance of the original Jetson Nano, 6 core ARM CPU, and it's going to be available soon. Unfortunately, on the Jetson Orin Nano series, there is no video encoder, hardware video encoder, so you have to use the CPU for the encoding of the video. But uh, still th this works, so there is no major problem with this. For the storage you can use the SD card as original Jetson uh, Nano, but also you can use the external NVMe storage. I think this was the most important specs and now let's try some demos which was prepared by Nvidia. First of all, let's run some benchmarks. And here the different models and uh, the speed with which it can run these models, so the frames per second how quickly it can process these different models. So these values are quite impressive. In the next demo we're going to run the PeopleNet model and this model is transformer model, so it's a model which uh, uses the same kind of technology as uh, all the super popular uh, AI models now, like uh, ChatGPT etc. And so here as you can see this model can detect people from the camera and uh, actually it's quite impressive that it can detect uh, people from the camera which looks uh, at some weird angle and all the people are a little bit tilted. This is not uh, obvious. 8 uh, frames per second, it's not super fast, but for the security system or something like this it should be enough. The next demo is super interesting and the main idea is that we take a robot which is super small, super low and it has the camera on it. So it looks from the bottom on the top and so like this it sees the people at a kind of weird angle. And most of the standard models are not uh, trained at this weird angle and that's why the semantic segmentation is not working perfectly just uh, out of the box. And so as you can see over here how this model works out of the box. You see that it works but uh, there is a room for improvements. And afterwards this model was retrained on the synthetic data and this synthetic data comes from the replicator from the Isaac sim and so with this additional data it was retrained using the tau and afterwards this model was deployed on the Jetson Orin and here you can see the result of this uh, model and as you can see it works uh, way better and I should say that this process of generating the new synthetic data and retraining the model it was actually quite uh, quick. Computational time was uh, a little bit more than one hour. And as you can see, like this, we can improve this original model quite significantly and it works better. I think this is a really cool example which shows, first of all, how you can use the Isaac Sim replicator, how you can use the tau, and how you can quite quickly improve the model for your specific task. I really love this demo. I have found this uh, ribbon cable. So this is a ribbon cable for the Raspberry Pi Zero. So this part goes to the camera and this part goes to your edge device. I also have a wide view camera from my old project. I know that this camera works perfectly with original Jetson Nano. So one side of the ribbon cable goes here and the second part goes to the Jetson Orin Nano. The camera is installed. So for this I need to run this command. And now theoretically the camera is recording. Stop recording. Let's see the result. It's upside down, but it doesn't matter. It uh, looks like it works. I have connected the Raspberry Pi camera. This is a camera version 2.1. Let's test it quickly. It's not a great camera, but it should work. Let's see the file. I was moving it a little bit too fast, but it was working. In my opinion, this Jetson Orin Nano Developer Kit is uh, really useful for the DIY community. It's small, it doesn't require a lot of power, and so that's why it's perfect for the mobile robotics or for the small robots uh, or for the robots where you don't want to have a bulky desktop PC.
I already started to use this model for some speech recognition. So most probably you will see the video about this in the near future. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Huge thank you to people who support me via Patreon and via YouTube channel membership. Here are their names. Thank you. As usual, stay safe, good luck with your projects and see you next time. What is NVIDIA Jetson and why I should use it? NVIDIA Jetson is a series of high-performance embedded computing systems designed for edge processing and AI applications. These devices are compact, energy efficient, and feature powerful NVIDIA GPUs and multi-core ARM CPUs, making them ideal for running complex AI algorithms and processing large amounts of data in real time. There are several reasons why you should use NVIDIA Jetson for your AI projects. One, high performance. Jetson devices are powered by advanced GPUs that can deliver high performance computing required for running AI models. Two, low power consumption. Jetson devices are designed to consume low power, making them ideal for use in energy efficient edge devices. Three, cost effective. Jetson devices offer high performance computing capabilities at a much lower price compared to traditional workstations. Four, easy to use. Jetson devices come with a user-friendly development environment and software tools that enable quick and easy development of AI applications. 5. Compatibility Jetson devices are compatible with commonly used AI frameworks, such as TensorFlow, PyTorch, and CAFE, enabling developers to take advantage of a wide range of pre-trained models and algorithms.